If you are new here, we are Isabel and David. Two years ago, we left London and decided to chase our dreams. As you can see, some travel related dreams. So let's hop on the map. So we are at this temple, we are gonna check it a bit around but I don't think we are gonna pay for the ticket uh, because we don't want to support this place. We'll explain later why. It's like I'm not the tallest here and this guy even sitting. So we arrived at this temple called Bevuru Kannala. We are here because the Buddha is one of the largest seated one in Southeast Asia and there is one thing we want to say uh, the outside is free and the inside the entrance fee is 200 rupees if you want to enter but we wouldn't recommend you that because because so the guardian is taking us to see the buddha and the poor elephant And we are going up now, until the top. Green mother, green father, set all. The family? Yeah. Penis. It's like the circle of life. Yeah. Penis inside jungle. Oh. Ah, that's the end. Yeah. Ah, Buddha head. Buddha, inside Buddha head can cover moon with Buddha head. Buddha is sorry for Buddha relax. Very nice. This is. Brings luck, apparently. Brings us good luck. Let's hope. <laughs> Yeah. You say goodbye to you, okay? Yeah, yeah, we go down, yeah. we go home, yeah, yeah. well done, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the tour. Yeah. Bye. 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 And we left at the because, because a guardian was staring at us and I just like turned off the camera. And he was saying that, oh, come with me, I'm like, gonna show you around. And he took us first to the elephant and we were asking, why is it free or do we have to pay 200? Uh, rupees and he said no 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 just come with me and he showed us the elephant they were cleaning him in the pool but he was chained we didn't know like what to say we we started to ask questions and uh, because they don't speak uh, very good english um, they didn't know what to say i think and also they you know probably they even understood the questions but they didn't want to answer but why is here do you know? No. Uh, they just know that he's uh, 26 years old, this elephant. And uh, the elephant was calmed and tamed and he was there, you know, getting cleaned. And just moving the ears and the tail. But we could see the chain on his yeah, leg. It looks like all day he's on the chain. And they show us his uh, little house there. All the time you can see that he's chained. He cannot go around freely. So we don't really know what to think because we started to ask questions like why is here, uh, why cannot be like uh, free and roam around or can be in the wilderness and they didn't know what to say. So then we looked at it, we were staring at the elephant, they wanted us to touch the elephant and take pictures yeah. but we refused and then we moved uh, towards the seated Buddha the guardian took us there. And we went up all to the top and you can see some frescoes all around. And even there you can see the elephants on the pictures and they are not treating them nicely. These frescoes, these paintings are 50 years old. Uh, they are like beautiful, but some, some of the pictures, especially about the elephants, you can see the footage we're gonna put in now as we speak. Uh, it makes you think like, uh, they were not like that kind to elephants and looks like they were even like 50 years ago probably here 
uh, keeping them. So I, I think we're going to do some research about it. And in the pictures they were showing, they were chopping the tusks. And um, it was chained as well. I, I don't know, I don't understand what was does it mean the elephant to Buddhism or to this place. Uh, we also saw some other pictures with animals, like with cobras and with turtles, no? They are using them, looks like, yeah. Uh, the turtles, I saw a picture they were releasing a turtle in the river or something like that, or in the sea. Uh, but um, yeah, for the rest, we really don't know what to think. And we went all the way up to Buddha's head. The view from there is amazing. You can see all the jungle, you can see the uh, Dikwella beach as well. You can see the light tower also. After we went just back from the same way, uh, like from the inside, you can climb up from outside or from the inside, but you know, it's so hot today that we just chose the, the inside back again with all the frescoes and we didn't have to pay for it. Well, we're still inside, so let's see. <laughs> yeah, I think there is like a, um, a temple at the beginning, at the entrance, with more frescoes and you have to pay for that one, like definitely. Thanks for watching this video, please let us know in the comments what you think about this topic and we left you actually in the video description some articles about it.